Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and man oh man do I have a good haul for you guys today. Take a look at this. First of all, this is going to be a two-part video. I'm going to show you the video games over here in a second part of the video. For now, we're just going to do coins. I did not get any jewelry this week. Uh, it was really just coins and video games, but I am okay with that. So let's start over here with some of the paper currency. Um, as you can see, I got a bunch of silver certificates. Over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 silver certificates, including one star note over here. And uh, just some random bills from like the 70s. Over here you see 77, we've got like the 80s and 74, a couple $2 bills. But the really nice thing about this is for all of those bills, I paid face value. I paid a buck a piece for these silver certificates and, uh, you know, face value for all that. So you certainly can't go wrong on that. Um, I don't know the value, but I'm guessing not too, too much. Uh, I will be selling um, all of these, um, or most of these silver certificates. Um, anyway, moving on to the coins, I got this giant bag of wheat cents. I mean, it goes pretty deep. It's a pretty hefty bag. Um, I'd say, you know, a few hundred of them in there. Um, you know, easily four or five hundred of them. Uh, and I paid also for these face value, I paid a penny a piece, which is fantastic. Um, basically, when I bought the silver, which I'm going to show you in a little bit, the guy basically said that, you know, if I could, as a favor, could I take all of his regular change for face value so he didn't have to lug it all to the bank, uh, which I'm more than happy to do because we can search through these uh, and uh, hopefully find some varieties or find some more wheat cents. Uh, these are theoretically or supposedly uh, just, uh, you know, regular Lincoln cents. Um, but I think I'll enjoy going through them. Uh, also over here, same deal, just a bunch of clad coinage, uh, that I paid face value for as a, as a courtesy. Same here, uh, a roll of, um, Susan B. Anthony dollars and a roll of Sacagawea dollars, uh, face value. Also this over here is a uncirculated tube of 1961D. Let's see if I can get it to focus on that. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, uh, it's a tube of 61D, also paid uh, face value on that. Uh, and on to the good stuff, the silver. Uh, we'll start with some of the dimes. Uh, we got a bunch of uh, mercury dimes uh, over here. Uh, I keep saying we, by the way, because I went out with a buddy of mine today uh, and we, we bought all these coins together. Um, and it was really pretty wild because we went out hauling, you know, just at regular garage sales. Uh, but the interesting thing was after we had gone to a whole bunch of sales and gotten, you know, video games and this and that, um, we actually got an email response from somebody that I had answered an ad to on Craigslist, uh, for buying their coins that I had sent them in 2012. And, uh, the guy never responded and I got a response two years later uh, that he wanted to buy my coins. Uh, so I drove over there with my buddy and we picked through his stuff and this is what we got. We got all this stuff. Um, so we got a bunch of mercury dimes ranging from 1917 all the way to 45, you know, various dates. Uh, a bunch of uh, Roosevelt dimes and a bunch of really good condition um, 40% silver Kennedys. I mean, these are like really great. They've got some bag marks, but most of their luster is still there. Um, it's pretty unusual for those for those uh, years. And we got four, five of these uh, 64, 90% Kennedys. And uh, we got a whole bunch of silver dollars. We got 17 of them. Uh, we got a bunch of Morgans. We got from 78, 79, 80, 81, or is it 82, 83, 84, 88, 91, a couple 21s. We got some peace dollars, 22, 22, 23, 23, and 24. Um, we did really well. Um, and over here for the, you know, we got one just regular uh, Washington Quarter, one slick standing liberty. But we did get two seated, co two seated coins over here. An 1861 Seated Liberty Quarter, which I'm very happy about. If anybody uh, wants to give an estimate on a grade 
or on a uh, value on this, I'd be happy to hear it. I know it's not the greatest quality video, um, but uh, we'll have to make do. And over here, an 1890 seated dime. Also not the best condition, but pretty cool. And a really messed up uh, 1809, or sorry, 1909 um, barber dime. But still pretty good. And there was this Lincoln head since 1941 to present that uh, I found at a garage sale. And there were only a few coins in there. There were literally 25 coins, a few wheat cents, and a few not, you know, uh, regular Lincoln cents. And uh, I asked them how much they wanted for it. I said, it's really not worth very much. And they just said, take it. So I got that for free, which was pretty nice. Um, so for all of this, um, I for the silver and uh, just for the silver alone... I paid, I believe, 270 bucks. Um, let me see. I paid uh, 170, uh, about about 220 bucks, 250 bucks. Um, I did it okay. I gave them about 70 percent of the value, uh, so I made about 30 percent profit uh, plus whatever addition I made for the uh, the two seated coins, and uh, I paid. You know, I, I'm not including this face value stuff that I got, but anyway. Um, I'm really, really happy with this purchase. It was a good first, uh, first day out, uh, for the season and, uh, there's a lot more to come. And, uh, like I said, watch my next video on video games. That's part two. And, uh, for those of you who are not regular watchers, please watch my videos, enjoy, learn from them. Uh, and of course, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, I look forward to a great season of picking with you guys. So anyway, this has been another silver picker video. Enjoy, and Silver Picker out.